Let's learn how to balance chemical equation. Here we see N2 plus H2 goes to NH3, and in a balanced equation, the atoms of each element will be equal on the left and the right sides. So the atoms of nitrogen will be equal on the left and the right, and same goes for hydrogen. What we can do is we can list our atoms first, our elements. So let me just make it a little thicker. So we have nitrogen on the left and nitrogen on the right, hydrogen on the left and hydrogen on the right. How many nitrogens do we have? There is a two in front of, uh, next to it. So we have two nitrogens, two here. We have two hydrogens here. There is nothing. Nothing means there is one atom of nitrogen and there are three atoms of hydrogen. So we can see that the equation is not balanced because the numbers are not equal on both sides. We have two here and one here for nitrogen. How can we make them equal? We use coefficients, which are numbers in front of our molecules. So what coefficients should we put in front of nitrogen? Two and one. If we put two here, now we distribute this two to all the atoms. So we have two nitrogens, and two times three is six, we have six hydrogens. So my nitrogen is now good to go, but my hydrogen still needs more work. I have six hydrogen atoms on the right, and I have only two on the left. What do I have to multiply two by to get six? I need to multiply by three, so I'm going to put three here, and two, three times two is six. And now we can see that my number of nitrogens on both sides is two and two, so that works, it's balanced. And my number of hydrogens on both sides is also balanced, it's six, and two times three is six. And therefore we now have a balanced equation. This is Maya Lochi from Transformation Tutoring.